Hey, Sharia. Hey, Dave. how are you? About um, some discussions about how electrical engineering field as a field is dying because the, the number of the interest in the field has gone down and everybody went to software. And we this, talked this about that game. on the Amp Hour this week. Yes, ah, yes, okay, we, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, watch this and okay. listen to this okay. week's Amp Hour and we okay, rant we'll on that. about that. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. yeah, that's a that's yeah, an interesting. It's nuts, uh, and yeah, there, there was this graph where um, it's for, went back to the nineteen sixties, I think. So it went from the nineteen sixties right up to the nineteen, uh, you know, right up to modern times, and showed yeah where where EE declines and where computer science goes up, and it started around nineteen seventy nine, nineteen eighty. And mm-hmm. then it dropped around eighty four because then you mm-hmm. had the video game crash of eighty, you know, yeah. the, <laughs> and then it uh, then it peaked and then it started going up again in nineteen ninety four, which is yeah. the uh, World Wide Web, right? So when the yeah. web came around, everyone got excited again. Everyone wanted to get into computer science. Um, yeah. yeah. So so the enrollments for computer science shot up and the EEs shot down. Yeah. Um, but I think it's going to yeah, change think, again. It'll, it will get better again. It'll, it'll always a, it, change. It's, and it's, we're, a, it's and we're, a cyclical thing. So. Yeah, and, and we're debating whether or not, you know, like like it must, um, if so many people move over to computer science, then technically a lot of the reason to get into it, of course, is not yeah, only goes, people's goes, passion, but also yeah. they see that money. Oh, yeah, you can earn half a million bucks working at Google if I'm good at software or whatever. Yeah. You know, yeah, and yeah. then they, yeah. <laughs> but then if everyone pulls into that industry, then that's probably going to drive the average wage down, and then they go, well, you know, it's not that great anymore. And um, yeah, I mean, if you look, if you if you look at the the thing that uh, has changed a lot is that uh, so web scalers make hardware now, right? I mean, that wasn't the case even a, right. a short while ago. You know, Tesla makes their own i a six from scratch. You yeah. Know, I, obviously, yep. IBM makes their own ICs. Apple is the is the master of making their own hardware ICs. They're replacing what's in the market. There will be more. I think it will come back. At least that's my intuition. If not, yeah. the existing ones are just going to continue getting paid more and more because <laughs> no, yeah. someone's going to do the work. So, well, when I was a boy, um, you know, if you yeah. were interested, if if you were a uh, curious kid, you know, there was no internet. You got into engineering. You got you tore stuff apart. You wanted to know how it works. So you got into electronics. You might have gotten into ham radio, but you'd pick up one of these kits. You know, you would get one of yeah. these kits, right? These were all the rage, you know, and then that would fuel your passion and then you'd buy more kits and then you'd build up a lab and then you naturally got into, you know, um, mm-hmm. engineering. But now it's like, it was like, basically I got sucked into that in my late teens. I was doing mm-hmm. mostly software. I just got, you know, I was yeah. mostly programming, you know, cause that was the new hot thing. And I was, you know, my, you know I had passion for it and I, you know, started doing programming projects instead of hardware projects. Yeah. And, no, I, my, my undergraduate is in uh, computer engineering, actually. My PhD oh, is in right. electrical, well, but, by, but yeah, yeah, I started as, as software, software as well, because that, that was the thing that was, uh, I always liked electronics, of course, but, but yeah, I think things will change now. We have a really hard time finding the skill that we're looking for, for hiring also, right. because there is, you know, I, I, I've been teaching at Columbia University in New York for, you know, for a decade, over a decade now. And you can see that the trend had had gone down. Although in the past right. year, I, I do see a bit more of it again. So you know, it might okay. return. Yeah. Yep. Um, so if you're in New York and you want to take a course at Columbia, this this um, this fall I'm teaching a course on the the, the theory and practical approaches to RF measurements. Uh, so it talks nice. about how instruments work and how yep. measurements and what the measurements mean. And it, I did it a couple of times before, and people seem to really like the course. It's really fun because we look inside the equipment and talk about how they work and what's the theory of. You know, what what is the theory? How's the measurement? How does the equipment do it? And then they close it closer together, it ties it together. And how do you know your measurements are even correct? Which is a big problem, as I'm sure you know. Mm-hmm. So, what's your thoughts on online education versus in person? Well, honestly, uh, having seen, having taught both remote now and in person uh, because of COVID uh, at Columbia. There, there is something about in person you cannot replicate. Uh, having mm-hmm. people next to each other, having students next to each other, it really does make it make a really big difference. There's a commitment to that presence of mind yes. when you are together, yes. and that's just missing. And the interactions of the people—it's like working at a, working out at the gym, 
right? I mean, you will push yourself more if someone else is pushing themselves more next to you, right? If someone else is dying, you're going to push yourself more. That's so, why I, when when I go to the gym, I do a class. I don't do, I just yeah, don't exactly. go work exactly. out on my own. Yeah. I'm hopeless at working out on yeah, my I own. Can, I can't do it. Yeah. yeah. So, yep. so that's exactly the same thing. This being part of a mindset really makes a difference. So I, I think in person is a huge difference. And also, the there is also a whole, whole other thing that you can find all this information online anyway. So it's not about yes. the information itself. I mean, you have to filter through it because there will be a, some, a lot of nonsense. But if, you, if somebody did that um, and just taught you remotely, it's still, I would recommend people being in person if they can. It's yep. just a different person, experience. Yeah, well, for most and, people, of people, course, not everybody. Yeah. And people ask that all the time. Why don't I go teach? You know, um, in fact, I almost taught a PCB design course back in the mid 90s something oh, yeah. like that yeah. i was actually signed up as a teacher but then i got a job and i there was other time commitments and it didn't happen yeah. um but yeah it's like well why would i do a why would i spend you know all those hours teaching you know 20 people in a classroom or even if it's a couple of hundred people when, when i can do a video that teaches yeah you yeah, know, yeah, no, there's something maybe about that. Hundreds sure. of thousands or even millions. And it's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, but as as you say, yes, I realize that there's totally different things in person. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And I, I, mean, I, I don't looking... know if I'd be a good teacher in person or not. I, I just don't know. So, no, I, I, I think, you, I think you would be, you would be but great. It's... But but the, the reach is, in, I was looking at the statistics. Yeah, the and reach YouTube, is no I'm, contest. It, it's it's yeah. no contest, right? I mean, my channel yeah. is tiny, right, relatively yeah. speaking. It's, it's a very, very small channel. Uh, but I was looking at what was the total number of watched uh, hours uh, of my channel mm. like how, uh, that this is actual consciousness dedicated to listening to yes. me right so so i just wanted to know and and it's like 160 years i know 160, it's, 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 it's like, it's like 1.1.6 centuries i mean that's tiny still by by and if you look at yours it's, it's got to be much much yeah, i'm not much sure mine is haven't yeah. looked in ages, it will be yeah. it might be 10 times more it could be like uh, yeah. 1600 years right so but if I were to teach in university, as much as I value it and I continue to do it, you just can't compete with that. It's, it's impossible. Yeah, uh, yours must be massive. I, I haven't, I don't, I don't know if I can see that statistic on your behalf. You I'm, might I'm, I'm trying to actually have a look now. 28 million, 28 million watch hours. Hours. What does that work yeah. out to? Somebody's got to punch it into the calculator. Even my channel's not that big compared to many. Yeah, yeah, but in terms of just it's, gibberish it's, it's on the crazy. internet too, though. Yeah, if you look at some of the yeah. channels that have just gibberish on them, I'm sure they're they're war. But that's not. I mean, <laughs> right. that's not the same thing, right? I mean, you're talking as, about as people very, sitting yeah. there consciously for half yeah, an yeah. hour watching, d yeah. actually digesting one of my videos. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but yeah, so uh, somebody said I'd, I'd, somebody wrote three thousand one hundred ninety six years. That's that's <laughs> three thousand years. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> My God, three millennials. Xdev's channel um, is eighteen thousand two hundred hours for his tiny little channel. Yeah, it's just no yeah, contest, right? It's just no, no, yeah. No. It's a, it's an, wow. it's an incredible thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, but three thousand one hundred ninety-six cool years worth of watch time. It's just that's <laughs> amazing, man. It's, it's mind-boggling. <laughs> I don't know about lifetimes. you, but I don't. All of the content, all the video content I consume these days, I consume it at at least 1.5 times speed. Um, Even mine? I, I do, you, just do you watch yeah. mine? Yes. Really? Yes, wow. I will watch yours sped up. Yep. <laughs> yep. I I do, like add, like if, the, if it's a really fast talker, I'll do it at 1.25 times. But like an average video, I'll start it at times 1.5. And then if someone's a real slow talker, I'll go even, uh, even uh, twice speed even two times speed yeah, yeah. so i mean yeah. I, I speak honestly i speak i apologize to those of you who have said i speak too fast but if you think about it it's just an honestly an issue of time because if i make yeah. a 30 minute video and i speak half as fast that's now an hour yeah. video right for me that's a yep. big difference and it, it extends even more in editing and so on so if you put that aside i have no choice mm -hmm. but to speak really fast but one of the things mm -hmm. i do try pay a lot of attention to is to not be verbose uh, and, yes. and say things only once, you know, as, as quickly as possible to the point, it saves me time and it saves everyone else time. Uh, not repeating myself is, is yeah, I, I get really annoyed sometimes. I, uh, when that's a skill that repeating. I've improved on. I, I used to watch, I used to repeat myself in the video all the time and I never used to edit it out. Now, if now I'll be conscious of that, I'll repeat something or I'll take out ums and ahs just to shave a few seconds off, um, you know, people's yeah, watch time. Yeah. So, but, but then again, I, I, I just released a 40 
minute video answering the question, do solar powered micro inverters take energy at night? And yeah, it's like, yeah. it's 40 minutes. And I go, how did yeah. I speak for 40 minutes on that? But yeah. I, when I was editing and I go, I can't take out any of this information. Like it's all like, I don't know. It's, it's, so it's useful. Is, is, it's useful. You should take that, it out. Well, it, well, yeah, that, that's the thing. I mean, is there any, do, like how often would you take out useful information from your video just to make it shorter? You, you know, know, I do or, very, I do very little editing. To be honest, right. I, I actually yep. just cut the little bits at the beginning and the end when things start and, end, and stuff. Yep. I, and yep. I just, I just literally stitch them together just because there's no, no time and everything's unscripted. That's how like I you, generally right? do it. Yeah, yeah. I, it's nothing. I, well, there's I, no time that, that's for how that. I used to do it. Yeah, that, that's how I used to do it all the time. But I've done a video now. I actually, if it's, I, I will often go if I think I'll go to the effort um, to like I'll, I'll edit it. I'll do a first pass edit, and that's just trimming the start and the end. And then I'll go through it all again once I've done that, once I've finished it, and trim out li just little bits and shave maybe one or two minutes off it just by taking out yeah. ums and ahs. So I I, yeah. I actually go, go to a bit more effort just to, especially if it's like a thirty-two minute video. I will mm -hmm. then go. Oh, I can't have thirty-two minutes. I want to get it under thirty. So I, yeah. I go through and just really, yeah. you know, tighten the screws and edit yeah. it so it's I can. But you a also you off. also add a, you you add you know flair and entertainment and, and emotional reactions to things quite a bit in it, which yes. is which is part of the charm of of the channel. So which is part I, of it, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. I don't tend to do that so much on on, on video, but uh, you know sometimes occasionally here and there I may say something, but it's it's, it's not like that. Maybe I'll try it once and see what happens. But <laughs> right. I, I feel like it would be it would be a disaster. <laughs> So we'll, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, you know, and there's people who complain about time on videos. You know, my um, op amp tutorial video, which is I think my most viewed video, it's mm -hmm. like 50 minutes long, and people go, yeah. "I don't have 50 minutes to watch it." Well, okay, there's five <laughs> minute op amp videos out there, but you're not going to learn the same. Yeah. Like, like you can't learn op amps in five minutes. No, like no, five or ten not. minutes. You just like you can't learn anything. Even, in even five my minutes. 50 minute video only gives you the basics. Yeah, yeah. Like, I bet you I can you make know, a video about tying your shoes, but five minutes is not enough. <laughs> if you really <laughs> want to learn something, five minutes is not enough. So I don't really make any apologies for making long videos. It's just it's just my style. And if you don't like it, well, there's others that make short five, ten minute videos. If you really want to go watch it, that's you know, it's not something I really want to get into. Um, although I am conscious of people's time, and very occasionally I'll go back and if it's easy to re-record something, if I'm really verbose on something, if it's easy to go back and actually re-record, which is not often, but if I can, I might actually go back and occasionally re yeah, yeah. something yeah, yeah. just to you, make it. You talk. You talked about op amps. Yeah. Let me tell you a, a quick story about something <laughs> funny about op amps. So, so it was actually my brother's mostly involved in this, but because he used to teach at the university, so they were they were having a class where the students had to wire up an op amp on a breadboard in an inverting configuration. So it was like a lab number yep. one of some electrical yep. engineer course. So we're going from station to station, and then you know we're looking at people they're wiring things up, and we test it try to debug it for them as much as possible. And then, uh, so we're going from station and then we'll come across another station and, and, and this, this this guy has eight op amps on a breadboard. I'm like, my God, what, what did you make? This is way ahead of everybody else. It's an amazing yeah. thing. Then I'm looking at it and I'm like, this looks really strange. I'm asking, what is this? And he says, oh, when I was trying to put the wires into the breadboard, the wires were too close. It was hard to do it. So I put eight op amps. I used pin one of the first one pin two of the second one, <laughs> pin three of the third one, and then pin eight of the eighth one. And I, I didn't know what to say. You, 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 can't, you can't say anything to that because it's so disconnected <laughs> from physics, from laws of physics. I, I, <laughs> so anyway, I've that's got no I, response. Got... No, I would have been speechless. I would not have known what to say either. Yeah, so that's a, that's a wow. one of my favorite stories of PAing back in university days uh, that, that, that oh. my brother was, yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not even, physics doesn't work. I, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get how the mind works. That, that, that reminds me of a story. I was doing a lab once. Um, I, it was a digital lab at uh, uni and it was, I can't remember what, you know, it was, you know, one digital basics or something. And we're wiring up on the uh, breadboards. We were, you know, we had to wire up a counter or something. I, I don't know what it was. You know, it had like, you know, a, you know, a dozen uh, TTL chips or whatever. So we had to wire this thing up and I'm staring at the circuit that they gave us to build up and I'm going, this is not going to work. And I'm checking the parts that they gave us. And I'm going, this isn't going to work. 
and big because they gave us seven four double O chips. Like like they actually uh, no LS, right? It was the original TTL. And of yeah, course the yeah, fan yeah. out is massive on these TTLs yeah. and I knew this, right? Nobody yeah. else knew this. And and I go, this is not going to work. And right, so, so I didn't tell anyone. I and I'm looking <laughs> around going, does anyone else see a problem? No, no. And so everyone just started to build it up, right? And and it and it didn't work. So I went, I know this isn't gonna work. So I used extra gates so to uh, parallel stuff up. Yeah. So I made, to give extra drive so yeah. that and my and at the end of it, mine's the only one that worked. And everyone's going, How does yours work? And I'm trying to explain fan, what fan out is and how it works and That's everything. Very and everyone's though. going, Whoa. And the and it turns out um, the teacher just went, Well, no that's not the problem they must be faulty chips or something all of them and so every <laughs> so everyone passed everyone passed even though they what? had even though i was the only one who had the <laughs> circuit that worked i was pissed off you know uh, i was it, like it was perfect, this was, was such a, a learning opportunity yeah, yeah perfect an opportunity. learning opportunity yeah. and i went no they they just swept it under the carpet and unfortunately no. it was no that horns been to this day <laughs> No, I, I, yeah, that was a, a missed opportunity for teaching. For yeah, sure. that was total missed opportunity. Yeah, fan out. I know, unbelievable. So, all right, okay. thanks, mate. It's well, been thanks. awesome. Bye, everybody. And thanks, Take thanks care. everyone for joining us. See ya. Bye.